So there's a new epidemic going around. Um, it's men wanting princess treatment. I can't. My one girlfriend was telling me this story that happened to her the other weekend and she says this guy looked at her dead in the face and was like, I'm not gonna chase you. Sensational. It doesn't even need to be a backstory on this guy because he's so irrelevant, but he said, I'm not gonna chase you. First of all, you need the steps. What the fuck are you talking about? Second of all, you want us to give you flowers? Third of all, is it a testosterone thing? Like, I actually don't understand what's going on because there's been a lot of instances that I have seen men want princess treatment. And I'm just like, astonished. I'm shocked, I'm shocked. She's so shocked at the fact that a guy didn't want to chase her friend because she was probably giving him the runaround. And if he's so irrelevant, why are you talking about him on TikTok? Someone said, how dare men want to feel loved, wanted and appreciated. Maybe they just want to feel loved and desired too. King knowing his worth. Imagine just wanting to have the energy reciprocated and being called a princess. I guess just treating people with decency and respect is too much. Translation, if you don't reciprocate my interest, then it's over. So a guy wanting equal treatment in the talking, courting stage of a relationship is a problem. I'm just trying to understand. Imagine wanting to be wanted and someone thinking that's bad. Don't chase, get the woman who actually wants you. Maybe they just want someone to respect their time. Welcome to the world of equality. We're just fed up with the games and the bullshit, that's all. Boys, we have finally turned the tables, let's go. I agree with the guy, not worth the effort to chase anymore. It's never been worth the effort to chase, fellas. Because if you're chasing, it probably means she don't want you or she's pissing you around. <laughs> Boys, this is how you keep a healthy relationship with your girlfriend. It's the little things, like opening the door for them. It's all it takes. Guys, I got about three seconds here. Never get a girlfriend, never get married. They're gonna ruin your life and take all your money. What were you doing out there? Oh, just checking my tire pressure. Is that your boyfriend? No, it's not. Ah. Who is it? I don't know, someone that just came up and asked me. Either. He just came and asked me for my Instagram. No, nah, I didn't ask you for Did nothing, he give it to bro. Me? Are you gonna t are you gonna respond to him back? No. Bro, don't you waste your time. Shango, no, no, no. Look, look, look. Watch. Hey, if the bitch don't f with you, you don't want her, bro. She missing out on her blessing. Not really. <laughs> You're probably thinking, well, what's the point in her giving out her Instagram to a guy that she doesn't like? The reason why she's doing that is because she wants more followers, more likes on her pictures. If she's got an OnlyFans, it's another guy to pay her OnlyFans. Or maybe just to see if the guy's got money. But basically, these girls will give their Instagram to anybody. And a lot of men, you know, tell me how tight my squeeze is. Oh, pause. If a girl ignores your text, just say this. I think you forgot to press set. No, if a girl ignores your text, then move on. And y'all was. Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> yeah, you gotta yeah, no more. <laughs> <laughs> my name. That's my name. Yeah, my nephew. God damn it, nephew. Cut that shit off. Yeah. <laughs> he called. What was the worst date you've had? So I went on a date with this guy, and literally he was an hour late, and then he literally didn't pay the tab. I was like, uh, I'm out. He bro. made you split? No, or? I had to pay. How did he tell you to pay? He didn't order nothing. That's some wow. broke. He and was then one time, this was f***ing recent, so I had this guy literally want to go to a date with me, took me to a restaurant, and then said, no, we're just ordering drinks. That's nasty. That's nasty. Bro. Don't be like that. No. I mean, considering what you do, they probably didn't expect you to want dinner. Do you think women have difficulty seeing things from a male perspective? For sure. A lot of girls are very conceited and self-absorbed and only think of themselves and don't think about how the situation might affect somebody else, as in the guy that might be really nervous to talk to them and just like... Blunt, rude responses can actually take like a pretty hard toll on guys, and I feel like a lot of girls don't realize that. Why do you think that is? Um, because girls get treated differently. Like we just got let into a club for free because we're on a guest list, and our friend that was with us um, Who's was a guy. With, uh, he's a guy, yeah. But he was gonna have to pay like sixty dollars to get in, and it's after hours. Like that just really sucks, and there should definitely be a little bit different of a culture, I'd say because it makes things much more difficult for guys when they can't even get out and get down there and it's mostly girls or guys with money, I suppose. She gets it, respect to her. And I think the reason why a lot of these women can be rude and entitled these days is because they got inflated egos from social media. You got all these sixes running around thinking they're tens because they got 100 likes on a picture. You got a bunch of guys in their DMs telling them how good they look. They end up thinking they're way better than average guys when they're below average themselves. The, the Western woman, the American woman, from a standpoint of marriage and family, this is the worst place in the world to choose a wife. Not only the worst place in the world, 
It's the worst place in the annals of history to choose a wife. Attention to a woman is like crack cocaine. And so she's seeing these things on the internet and she's got guys in her DM and they're giving her a false idea of their value. The male attention is monopoly money. Because when you hit 35 and that attention starts to go away and you start looking for men, the kind of men you want, now you're competing with the younger, hotter, more fertile girl. There's a reason that God starts, the creator starts, you start to lose your eggs what, in the mid 30s? The more bills a woman pays by herself, the less attractive men become. You sure about that? I just paid three bills just now with my own debit card. Like the independent black woman I don't want to be. I don't want to be I N D E P E N D E N T. Do you know what that means? That means independent, motherfucker. I don't want to be independent anymore. You know, I don't want to be a strong, independent woman. I think we have enough strong, independent women. I don't want to be an independent woman anymore. <sighs> I quit. At being independent. I don't want to do this shit no more. This shit is draining. You know, have dinner ready for your husbands when they got home from work. That is all I want to do. But no, you thought everyone wanted to be independent. I don't. I don't want to be independent. A break from dating, and um, I didn't need a man. I changed my mind. I'll take whoever. Just like get here ASAP. It's so fucking exhausting and draining to act like everything is okay. Now I'm like, I don't want to be this strong, independent woman. I, I, I don't. I can't believe I used to truly feel so empowered by being like, I would never let a man support me fully. It's, it took me two years in corporate America to be like, yourself. I would love if somebody came in here. I don't want to be independent anymore. Good luck with that. I've seen deterioration of women. I've been in D.C. for over 20 years. You gotta understand, when you leave this country, it is entirely different. I'm sure if you guys have traveled, you got a taste of it, but go explore, taste other cultures, taste yeah. women from other cultures. What did he say? I mean, literally and figuratively, you know, like have a good time. No, I feel you, bro. And see, because when you get outside of this country, you don't have that type of shit. I agree, it's good to see different countries, different cultures, but don't be one of these passport bros thinking that if I go to another country of more traditional ways of thinking, I'm gonna find a perfect wife. Because a lot of the time, they're going to poorer countries where these women just want a piece of paper or a visa, and they're gonna tell you everything you wanna hear, they're gonna tell you they love you, just so they get what they want. And once they get what they want, they're gone. What's your biggest ick? Biggest ick? The word ick. That's a red flag coming around with this ick stuff. I don't oh, like really? that Oh really? Tell me more, tell yeah, me I mean, more. What ick and stuff, bro? Why are you even saying that, man? People have mannerisms what people don't like. It's not ick. You know what I mean? Do you know what? I like this perspective. It's a fresh perspective. I completely agree with him. These TikTok terms are for donuts. They're dumb as shit. <laughs> I cheated on him. One secret you never told your ex. That I cheated like a little, a bit of time. Do you have some? I mean, I cheated all the time. <laughs> How many times is all the time? Like, realistically. Every time I got the chance. If she cheats, she belongs to the streets.